हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम टू कीरूज ऑनलाइन लेक्चर्स आई एम कीरज हमतानी एंड टुडेज टॉपिक इज हेलो एल्केन्स एंड हेलो एरिन्स पार्ट वन सो इन दिस चैप्टर वी हैव टू स्टडी इंट्रोडक्शन रिएक्शंस इन ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री न्यूक्लियोफिलिक एंड एलिमिनेशन रिएक्शंस सब्सिट्यूशन दैट इज देन अबाउट सब्सिट्यूशन एंड एलिमिनेशन रिएक्शन स्टीरियो केमिस्ट्री प्रिपरेशन एंड रिएक्शंस ऑफ एल्काइल हेलाइट्स प्रिपरेशन एंड रिएक्शंस ऑफ एरिल हेलाइट्स देन रिएक्शन ऑफ स्पेशल एल्काइल हेलाइट्स दैट इज ट्रा हेलाइट्स एंड डेट्रा हेलाइट्स देन अबाउट सर्टेन कंपाउंड्स एंड इन केमिस्ट्री ऑफ गिरगार्ड रिएजेंट इन दिस वीडियो इन पार्ट वन वी विल बी स्टडिंग इंट्रोडक्शन रिएक्शन इन ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री एंड अबाउट the mechanism of nucleophilic substitution and elimination reaction starting with introduction so alkyl halides or haloalkenes they are group of chemical compounds which are derived from alkenes that contain one or more halogens now they are commonly used as flame retardants fire extinguishers refrigerators propellants solvents and pharmaceuticals alkyl halides on the basis of on the type of carbon to which halogen atom is attached they are basically of three types like if one alkyl group is attached then it is primary halide if two alkyl if halogen is attached to the carbon which is already attached to two alkyl groups so it is tertiary and if carbon is attached to the carbon which is if halogen is attached to the carbon which is attached to three alkyl groups so this is known as tertiary alkyl halide now coming on to the reactions in organic chemistry so in organic chemistry depending on the reaction conditions and attacking reagent there are three types of reactions addition substitution and elimination reaction coming on to addition reaction addition reaction basically involves addition of group to a pi bond like we are provided to this double bonded atom this is a pi bonded atom so we have a compound a nucleophile which will attach to it thus x will be x will be going to this carbon and y will go to the next carbon we will get y c and x this is how addition reaction takes place that is these nucleophiles will be added to that particular carbon which are linked with the pi bonded this is addition reaction substitution it involves replacement of an atom or group of atom by another atom or group of atoms for example we are provided with the compound like here z is attached so in with when it is reacted with y so y replaces z from its position this type of reaction is known as substitution reaction coming on to elimination elimination reaction is a reaction which involves loss of atom or group of atoms to form unsaturated compounds for example the here it is here x and over here in this carbon y is attached so the removal of this xy because this xy is eliminated from here in presence of certain reagent so there comes a double bonded carbon thus we get unsaturated or we can say we get alkene compounds in elimination reaction we can also get alkynes now coming on to the mechanism of nucleophilic substitution reaction so substitution reaction basically they are of two types the one is sn1 reaction and other one is sn2 reaction so sn2 reaction basically is like we have a compound over here over which x is attached and when nucleophile atta when nucleophile attacks to this compound so this nucleophile will be substituted in place of x so what happens generally over here there is a transition state achieved over here in which the nucleophile which is attached over here is not sorry the group which is attached over here 
like x is attached over here it is not totally removed from here and the nucleophile starts attacking to this reagent so thus this is stage this is stage where both the groups are attached to it this state is known as transition state and then this group gets removed from here thus this is how substitution reaction takes place over here so in this reaction it is a single step reaction that is this reaction depends on both your nucleophile and your alkyl halide only so therefore we say its order is 2 and therefore such type of reaction is known as bimolecular nucleophilic substitution reaction in this case transition state is achieved no intermediates like carbocations and carbonions are not formed rearrangement is not observed over here inversion of configuration is observed yes that is this figure gets inverted like over here if it this figure is inverted to the other figure thus we say walden inversion is obtained over here order of reactivity if we look over here methyl halide is more reactive than primary then secondary and then tertiary halides these are favored by a protex solvent coming on to next sn1 reaction now this sn1 reaction is basically a two step reaction in this reaction what happens like we have a carbon compound that is c ch3 c3h7 br and over here c2h5 so this is two step reaction and over here the rate of reaction directly depends only on alkyl halide therefore its order is 1 and therefore we call it as sn1 reaction now over here what happens first this bromine is removed from here so thus this is a slow reaction and as bromine gets removed from here so there is a formation of carbocation so thus a carbocation is formed over here then after formation of carbocation nucleophile attacks over here and the product is formed thus nucleophile attacks to this carbon since over here we can say carbocations that is intermediates are formed rearrangement is commonly observed over here and yes racemic mixtures are obtained that is nucleophile can attack through this position also and through this position also therefore we say racemic mixtures are obtained since carbocation tertiary carbocation is more stable therefore it is more reactive than tertiary secondary primary and then methyl halide now this type these types of products they are favored by protex solvent coming on to elimination reaction now elimination that is e2 reaction again if we talk about e2 reaction this is a single step reaction that is in single step only the removal of hx takes place over here like in this reaction we have this halide we have over here so there is a in presence of base there is removal of hx so this hx is removed only in one step therefore we call it as a single step reaction so over here the rate of reaction it depends on both that is it depends on alkyl halide and it, it depends on base also so therefore its order is 2 so we call it as e2 reaction that is elimination by molecular reaction in this reaction also there is no intermediate formed rearrangement is not observed and yes it is observed in the presence of strong bases order of reactivity tertiary secondary and then primary so this can be attributed to the stability of alkene formed and it is favored by a protex solvent a protex solvents are the solvents which donates h plus ions coming on to elimination reaction unimolecular that is e1 so over here what happens it is a two step reaction now first there will be elimination of x and then there will be elimination of h so here we can say that uh, the first step because two step reaction is there so in first step removal of x takes place and in second step removal of hydrogen atom takes place this is how this reaction is completed so first step is the slowest step 
Slowest step is the rate determining step. Therefore, the rate of this reaction depends only on alkyl halide. So, it, the, re, the order of this reaction is 1. Therefore, we call it as E1 mechanism. Again, here also carbocations will be formed. Rearrangement is observed. And yes, it is observed in the presence of weak bases. Order of reactivity, tertiary, secondary and then primary. And it is favored by protic solvents. So in today's video, we studied about alkyl halide. And we studied about the types of reactions in organic chemistry. And the mechanism of substitution and elimination reaction. Hope you guys are finding videos helpful. So do like, share and subscribe the channel. Thank you.